Minneapolis and for Matt Wieters. First time that he has gone back to back games since returning to the Orioles from the DL. Talked with Matt before the ball game. Why now? Yeah, I felt like it was a you know good time to try. And the arm, arm feels good, and, and you know with having a day game tomorrow and an off day following it, thought it would be a good time to, to go ahead and, and try back to back, and, and that way we have that rest built in if, if we need it. Any uh, problems? No, you know it's something to wear. You know, with the surgery still every day, you got to kind of see how it feels when you wake up in the morning. But it felt good this morning when I woke up, and, and this was always a date that I was kind of, you know, looking for. If it feels good at this time, maybe a good time to try back to back. You got yourself out of a little bit of a slump uh, in the ball game last night, and uh, I guess you put a little extra work in yesterday. Tell us a little about that, would you? Yeah, I just wanted to try and uh, simplify the swing a little bit. You know, once uh, you know, once you start struggling a little bit, you start thinking a little too much. So, so kind of went back and, and tried to simplify the stance and simplify the swing as much as possible, and, and it paid off last night. All right. Ball club, uh, you're going to have a race. It looks like in the East that's going to go right down to the uh, right down to the final game. Maybe, uh, do you see it that way? The way the clubs have played so far through the first half. Yeah, and I think coming into a year, it's what you have to expect in, in this division. Is every team's going to go out there and do what they can to, to win the title. So it's, uh, you know, you know it's going to be a dogfight. And at the same time, you know, we've got to get playing consistent, good baseball, and, and hopefully get on a run and and try and put some space in between some teams if you can. Buck always talks about the work you do looking at the hitters the team that the, the club's going to be facing. How much more difficult is that for you when you get to interleague play with clubs you know you haven't seen all year. It, it, uh, it definitely takes a little bit more time and you know the good thing is you know, we, we can always just go back to our pitcher's strengths. If there's somebody I'm not quite comfortable with uh, I feel completely comfortable with going with our pitcher strengths but uh, you know we've got a, a great advanced staff that puts together a good report for us to, to start with and I'll, I'll try and add uh, you know anything I see to it. Is that your bottom line pitcher strength in a ball game when you got to make a decision. Yeah anytime uh, you're trying to make a pitcher do something he's not comfortable with it's not going to work out well so we'll start there hopefully we can match up their strengths against other hitters weaknesses but if not we'll go to their strengths every time. All right. Matt final question can you put the way this season has gone for you in a, a bit of perspective for fans how tough it was getting back here and now back into a routine. Yeah, you know it's hard to to be able to you know shoot for opening day and not not be able to make it there. And, and but then uh, you know knew that uh, eventually I'd be back playing and, and and now just excited to get back to a normal schedule and back playing every day. Matt, we appreciate it. Thank you and have a great uh, second half. Thanks, Gary.